in this quick tutorial I want to show you how you can add an anchor link or it's also known as a jump link how you can add that to the menu in WordPress an anchor link typically refers to a hyperlink that directs visitors to a specific section or a location within the same page or a different page on the website and anchor links are also known as page jumps or internal links or jump links so it's all the same and they are especially useful for long form content allowing readers to jump directly to relevant sections without scrolling so I have also made another tutorial about anchor links this is the tutorial create anchor link to scroll and click with Elementor tutorial so you can see the tutorial over here on the website and you can also watch it on YouTube so here is an example of what an anchor link is and in this example I have used a text link and a button to um, to add the anchor link to and what will happen when you click on the link is this if I click on it now you see that automatically you saw that when the link was clicked it automatically scrolled down to this section of the website so let me show you how you can do that and now you can see the home page of my website inside of the Elementor editor and the steps are very similar to the one explained in the video on how to add the anchor link to the button and the text link so to repeat the steps one more time go to the section or the location where you want the visitors to be directed to after they have clicked on the anchor link so in this example I want to set it to recommend resource so I want visitors to be directed to this section now search for the menu anchor widget just click on it and drag it to the location that you want it to be displayed next thing you need to do is you have to set an ID for the menu anchor and in this example I just will use I will use test tutorial so just enter any given of course choose an anchor name that reflects the content of the section making it easy for use to understand where the link leads so after you have done that you can click on update so now we have added the menu anchor widget to the home page above the recommended resource so if I now go to the navigation menu you can see that resources is already mentioned but let me open it in an incognito tab this is how a regular visitor would see the page and you can see that if I now click on resources it will direct to this page websitelearninglab.com slash resources which is a specific page on the website so at this point this is how it's set up but let's say I want to connect this resources link to the anchor to the menu anchor widget that we have just added to the page over here above the recommended resources so how you can set it up is as follows just go to the menu settings inside of the WordPress dashboard here you can see if you go to appearance and then select menus now you can see how the menu is structured at this point the resources link is set for the page titled resources and not for the anchor link so how we can do that is we can remove this link then we can go to custom links now you need to enter the URL of the website followed by the tag that you have set up for the menu anchor and in front of the text you need to add a hashtag so in this case it would uh, it would look like this let me go back you can see HTTPS website learning lab.com forward slash hashtag and then test tutorial as we have named it in the menu anchor widget for the link text we can use resources again and now add to menu so now you can see that resources is added so now it's a custom link and just save everything so click on save now I'll go back to the incognito tab again and let's refresh the page you can see so now resources is at the end and if I now click on it you can see that it scrolls down to the recommended resources section so that is how you can add menu links so that is how you can add anchor links to the WordPress navigation menu so even if I go to another uh, page on the site for example now I am on this page and 
even if I then click on the resources link, then I will be taken back to the home page and then to the section that I have set up for it. So that's how you can do it. I hope everything is clear. I see a lot of nice comments below the videos. So I want to say thank you to all the visitors of my channel and everybody who subscribed. Thank you very much. It really motivates me. So thank you for watching and I'll see you back again in the next video.